So now let's take the even harder no, problems. Even harder problems because okay. the only way to solve, uh, you know, yes. get comfortable is to solve very, uh, you know, many different types of problems. Absolutely. Right? So let me call this example number one. One. Yeah. Okay. So here I have, you know, your n one and n two. So this is example number two. Two. Okay. I have n one and n two. Okay. okay. Which are your reference nodes and between n1 and n2 i have a 50 ohm resistor okay okay and then uh, i have uh, you got to introduce a node n3 n3 okay, okay in between there's a 20 ohm between n1 and n3 okay okay then there's a 30 ohm also between n1 and n3 Oh, there is another 30 ohms. Okay. So let me do one thing and create some space for myself. Yeah. To make it a little bit. Uh, so you say that there is also a 30 ohms. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then between N3 and N2, <laughs> oh, okay. there is 40 ohms. Okay. Uh, can I draw it like this? Yes. Okay. And between N3 and N2, there is another 50 ohm. There is another 50 ohms. Yes. So is it drawn as a triangle? We can redraw it the same way. You redraw it. I think I, I, it's useful to show the students that you could draw it in any in different many way, way, right? And you said what is the value of that? That is 50 ohms. Got it. Okay. So the first okay. thing that I'd like to point out is the way you have drawn it. Yes. Is very ah. different from <laughs> what is there in this textbook. Yes. Right. Maybe I'll, so, I'll look at it and draw it. Yeah. Uh, so maybe they can see it themselves. Yes. They can see it for themselves. Right. So you see that the way it has been drawn is very, 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 very different. Okay. But really it does not matter. Okay. We need to be able to solve this in many different ways. Okay. Perfect. However you draw it. So, okay. Let's. So maybe can we start with a guess again mm. before we even get into this problem? Yes, I'm already seeing one yeah. guess I can make. Yeah. So I can see that all of these guys are in parallel with 50 ohms. With 50 ohms. So the answer has to be less than 50. Less than 50 ohms. Right. right? Yeah. I'll, I'll start with that guess. Yes, it has to be okay. less than 50 ohms. Okay. Agreed. Okay. Um, let me see. Mm, well, I already see at least two things that can be simplified. This portion. Yes and uh, this portion as well. They are both simple parallel networks. Parallel networks. Right. One of them is two parallel resistors between N1 and N3. Yeah. The other one is two parallel resistors between N3 and N2. N2. Absolutely. So both of these can be directly simple. Maybe shall we start showing the equivalent resistance of these two pieces separately and then redraw it. Yes. Huh? Yeah. So we are basically not explicitly showing every evolution because yeah. we can do these two things independently. Correct. Right. Yeah. So we have 20 and 30. So this portion is a single resistance of 30 value into 20 by 30 plus 20. 600 by, by 50. 50. Yeah. Right. Which is uh, what? 12. 12. 12 ohms. 12 ohms. Right. Again, 12 is less than 30. It's less than 20. 20 as well. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And uh, this portion is a single resistance of, well, let me mark the nodes because we need to keep track of that. Yes. If you're doing, exactly. you know, things in parallel, you better keep yes. track of nodes. Exactly. Right. right? And this is between N3 and N2. Yeah. And I have 40 ohms and 50, 50 ohms. ohms in parallel. Yes. So it is 40 times 50 by 40 plus 50. Yes. So 2000 by 90. 2000 by 90. So yeah. 200 by 9. Yes. We'll keep it like this. Yeah. I'll we'll just keep it, it as 2000 by 90. Maybe yeah, it might yeah. be useful. It might be useful later. We'll okay. We'll keep it. Yeah. 2000 by 90. Yes. Okay. So now I can directly do, uh, you know, redrawing in yes. one step. Yes. All right. So what I am going to say is, uh, let me see if I can, yeah, yeah, I get some more space. You'll get some space, yeah. So between N1, so basically I'll draw this 50 ohms. Yeah. And now what I have done is I have created a 12 ohm resistor. Yeah. To N3. Yeah. And a 2000 by 90 ohm resistor. From N3 to N2. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sounds good. And now I already see one more simplification that can be done, which is this portion. Yeah. So that is just a series combination. 
Okay. It is 12 plus uh, 2000 by 90. Yeah. And I think now we can start. Uh, 308 by 9. 308 by 9. Yeah. Okay. okay, so it is 200 by 9, 12 nines are 108, perfect, 308 by 9. 9, yes. Ohms. Ohms, yes. Between and N1 and N2. Yes. And that seems to be in parallel with 50. With 50. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, we will write the next uh, page. So, this gives us 50 ohms. <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, 308 by 9 ohms. Yeah. And they seem to be in parallel yeah. across N1 and N2. Yes. And we know how to do this. So, this portion has an equivalent uh, resistance, which is the parallel combination of these. Yes. So, 50 into 308 by 9 by 50, 50 plus, plus 308 by 9. Right? Right. And okay. uh, we can calculate this number. I'll just simplify it and leave it like this. Yeah. 50 into 308 by uh, 358. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, no, sorry. No, no. 450 plus 308. 450 plus 308 is? 758. 758. Correct. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, at least our <laughs> guess was this was 50 times. So, 308 by 758 is approximately half. Approximately half. Half. So, it is... Less than 50. It is right? less than 50. This is what we started with. This is what with. we started with. This is definitely less than 50. Okay. Because this portion, as you pointed out, is less than less than 1. Okay. Right? Excellent. So this is less than. Our initial guess was right. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Now, I am going to really one more notch up. Okay. 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 This problem and I, uh, we might have to draw it exactly as shown here. Okay. Because we want to show some wires going over each other. Oh. Okay. okay, we have never seen that before. Yeah, yeah. okay. Okay. So, uh, can you redraw this? I'll redraw that. That okay. work by looking at it. it. I see it. Okay. This is also now a little bit more complicated. Yes. Okay. And drawing the outer network first. Yes. And I had one more resistance here. Yeah. Oops. And then. That's your N1 and N2. N1 and N2. Okay. Now. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. There is a there. direct connection ah. here. Yes. And a short here as well. Ah. So, okay. So, that symbol means you are going over it's that a, wire. It's a crossover. Right, it's a crossover. Right, it's okay, over. and the two nodes are not touching each other. That's right. This is a crossover. Okay. Okay. So, you can now plug in the values. So, I'll just point out that no there is no electrical, electrical connection. connection. Right, when you when you are going over and uh, looks like there is a dot that is being used here, which basically indicates there is an explicit connection. That's right. That, that's right. So, that is a very common connection. Uh, more than three, uh, th three or more wires reaching, joining at the same point. Point exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Usually, that's a solid dot, right? That's a maybe, solid maybe dot. I think. Just color it. I yeah. just I'll color it. Color it and make it. I think I didn't. Yeah. The, all, that's right. All four. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So, first of all, how many nodes do we have in this? Mm, let's see. I have N1. Yeah. So let me start here. Yes, I'll call this yes. N, N3. N3. Okay. N4. Yes, N4. I see one more here, N5. N5. Yeah. I'm just randomly pointing yeah, it out. So N6. N6. And now I've come back to this. Which is the same as N3. N3. Yes. Right? So we don't. So, so we, we just. Yeah. You don't have to label it separately, but you have to keep it in mind. Otherwise, label this as N3. N3 itself. N3 yes. itself. And then you go around there, you have another. So, I will call that N7. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe I will just give me a minute. I will just call this N7. Yeah. And now, it You're comes back. back to another one which is connected N5. to N5. N5. Right. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. And the values uh -huh. are? 
going counter clockwise yes 8 8 ohms 20 ohm. 30 40 10 10 15 and 2 ohms okay okay interesting so now how do we go about ah. solving such a problem <laughs> okay so now we need to start identifying at least the simplest ones yes right and i see at least three simple ones okay all right so the ones that i can directly see these two can be combined yeah these two can be combined and these two can be combined so It essentially like there is no current that can go out of n4 elsewhere other than that 30 ohm that's correct right so n4 n6 and n7 are not connected to any other nodes yes right uh, or they are connected only to two resistors resistors right yeah. so that's right you this replace in, them with equivalent series resistances that's right right so, so this one is basically 30 plus 20 50 ohms yes so this one is 40 plus 10 50 ohms 50 ohms and 25 ohms 25 ohms okay so now we redraw this circuit again mm -hmm. right very carefully now we have to be a little bit careful yes so between n1 so n4 n6 and n7 will be gone gone yeah right yeah. so between n1 and n3 i will have 8 ohms yes. so now i don't need to keep this topology maybe i'm just going to make it easier yeah and uh, draw it like as if i have n1 yeah between um, n1 and uh, n3 Three. i have an 8 ohm resistor is it what do you feel which is better should we retain the topology to show how it is being changed or can i redraw it in any way maybe we do that and then redraw redraw it later yeah, yeah. let's do that okay okay so then yeah. i'll retain the original topology yeah so okay. i have 8 ohms 8 ohms and um, that other was i believe it was ohms. 50 ohms correct 50 ohms to n5 to n5 okay so this was n5 hmm. okay and i had a 50 ohm from n5 to n3 n uh, yes to n3 yes so this was n3 yeah uh, should i start redrawing now no no we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it redraw? separate we'll keep it separate okay we'll, we'll keep, keep it, it separate. separate yeah so from n this was n5 right yeah so what i will do i will keep things consistent by labeling n5 right there because we do have a connection there correct right yes and this was also 50 ohms yeah and it went now 50 to ohms to n3 n3 but okay. at a different point ah. at a different point so i'll draw it like this is that correct yes 50 ohms to n3 n3 this is also n3 so right yeah and uh, this was 2 ohms 2 ohms to n5 to n5 so mm. now we can make that connection here yes to n5 yeah and we had n3 to n3 connection crossover, as well yeah. crossover yeah there's a crossover yeah okay okay and 25 ohms 25 from ohms n3 to n5. n5 exactly okay yeah hmm okay so effectively <laughs> what we have and that's n2 this is n2, n2 correct right so how many nodes do we have now we have n1 n2 n3 n5 n5 only correct. four nodes we had seven yeah we have lost two of them n4 n6 n7 we seem to have lost yeah okay 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 so now you can redraw it and maybe okay. show them that this actually looks different right. and simpler <laughs> so let us see how we can redraw it um i already noticed that um, okay so let us start like this let us start finding out nodes where you have things in parallel yeah so between n3 and n5 yeah i seem to have a 25 ohms here yes so that is one of them i have one thing between n3 and n5 yeah i have a second 50 ohm resistor between n3 and n5, n5. here it's the same thing and i have another 50 ohms between n3 yeah. and n5 right yeah this is n3 and n5 50 ohms between this n3 and n5 50 ohms between this n3 and n5 i have 25 ohms 25 ohms it seems like i have three resistors between n3 and n5, and n5 right? oh this is quite tricky this is tricky right right okay so and uh, so can we just redraw it like let's that let's try then? redrawing it okay so let's so 
maybe i'll start with n3 and n5 yeah so i had n5 and i had n3 here right yeah right so well which is i am trying to see which is the best way to topologically show this without confusion confusing the students so i am going to do it like this okay so i will choose n5 on top okay and n3 on bottom okay okay and now i know that i have three resistors yes n5 50 ohms another 50 ohms 50 ohms and another 50 ohms 20 25 ohms. 25 ohms sorry yeah correct yes so 25 ohms 50 ohms yeah 50 ohms yes so we have captured these three resistors yeah and then from n5 to n2 two, i have two ohms. two ohms so okay i'll make it easy like this two ohms okay right and then from n3 to n1 i have eight ohms eight ohms no that's to n5 oh sorry to n3 right yeah yeah, yeah. ah so we will draw it like this to bottom yeah. to the bottom yes. right so i'll redraw it so that it makes things easier i don't want to draw it like this then yeah okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to redraw it like this Correct. so from n5 to n2 i had uh, what is the value again 2 ohms in fact 2 ohms and from n3 to n2 yeah I had eight ohms, I believe. Yes. Yeah. N five, N three to N one. Yes. N three right? to N one. Does this have we read on all resistors? I think so. We have got the fifty ohms, fifty ohms, twenty five ohms, two ohms, and eight ohms. Yeah. So Perfect. you keep count, right? Yes. Essentially, you keep count of the resistors. Number of resistors. Right. Okay. And the nodes. Okay. Perfect. Great. Oh, I I would never have thought exactly right that the original network would simplify to something as simple like this. as this. Yeah. Right. So what do we have? We have now 50 in parallel with 50 in yes, parallel right. with 25. Correct. So this portion, the equivalent portion is uh, well, 50 uh, and 50 in parallel is 25. 25. 25 so, and 25 in parallel is. So let's do that. Yeah. So this is 25. 25 ohms. 25 ohms. You have 250 ohms in parallel. Yes. It will be exactly half. And then now let me draw this full thing. Is 225 ohms in parallel. Parallel. That becomes. 12.5 ohms. ohms. Yes. So now this network, network now simplifies to 8 ohms, 2 ohms. So 2 ohms, 12.5 ohms, ohms, and 8 ohms. 8 ohms. Right. And uh, this is N2. This is N1. Yeah. And I have N5 and N3. Yes. Right. Yeah. Now I have three resistors in series. In series, it's ten right. plus twelve point five. Correct. So this will basically give you a single resistor between N one and N two, which is basically twenty two point five ohms. Yeah. So I have eight plus two ten. Ten plus twelve point five is twenty two point five ohms. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So I think this is a classic example where it is difficult for us to make an estimate because we don't know. What's in series? What's in parallel? By just looking at, we have to redraw it significantly. That's correct. So it's okay. But once you see this, you mm -hmm. know that the answer has to be at least greater than eight and two and you know twelve point five. Correct. correct. No, in fact, you could do that if you look at the original network. Yeah. Let me draw it. Yeah. I noticed that in series with uh, N two, yeah, I had a two ohms. Yes. And in series with uh, N one, I had eight, eight ohms. ohms. So I uh, knew least, that the answer has to be at least at ten least ohms. At least ten ohms. It Good. is ten ohms in series with something. Yeah, and then there is some other equivalent resistance between N three and N five that we don't know. So, that's but correct. at least has to be ten ohms. That's right. Okay, I think that's a good uh, uh, summary. Yes. Okay. Yes.